More severe weather early this morning. National Weather Service was able to go out and investigate some of the areas of damage and did find a confirmed tornado in Livingston Parish as well as in Hancock County around Purlington from early this morning. Now, they were both weak, but damage is damage, and they'll be investigating other areas, primarily on the North Shore, to see if there was any additional damage caused by tornadoes. Then we had a pretty nice quiet day today under mostly sunny skies, but notice clouds are starting to work their way back in and we will see increasing clouds through the overnight. 82 degrees our current temperature and that was the high for the day. So behind the front or behind the rainfall, I should say it wasn't really a front. We only saw a slight drop in humidity. Winds did shift briefly and temperatures weren't as bad only because the humidity was a little bit lower than yesterday. But again, 82 degree high is warmer than average, but not quite to the records of 80 eight set back on this date. We're in the low 80s and upper 70s across much of the area, but clouds are starting to work their way back in. Dew points are also starting to return back into the upper 60s and low 70s. We did spend a good part of the day with 50s and 60s, which is a little bit more comfortable, but the muggies are coming back thanks to southerly winds returning and the moisture is going to return to help fuel more showers that we're expecting late tomorrow night and on into Saturday. Something we've been talking about for the last couple of days is we are seeing a bit more of an active upper pattern. This big upper low is what caused all of the severe weather yesterday. That is lifting to the north, albeit slowly. And another upper trough is moving across the northern Rockies. It's going to be this feature that brings in another chance for instability across the area and another chance for maybe some severe weather. As that upper trough approaches, it starts drawing moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico and also creating that instability. Now, just because it's an unstable atmosphere doesn't necessarily mean you're going to see severe weather. It just means you will likely see rain and we definitely will see some rain late Friday and on into Saturday, but also the chance of some of that becoming strong or severe. Now the problem with it is none of the models are in great agreement with exactly where and when that will occur. So just know at the moment we're looking at kind of a late Friday night and on into at least the first part of the day on Saturday. So here's what we know right now. We actually have some drier air that has moved in, but the moisture is lingering just off the coast and we've already started to see that returning as the upper trough starts diving south. It begins drawing up that moisture. There's the fuel for those showers and storms. Now the good news is by later in the day Saturday, the upper trough will be pushing to the east and northeast and help to bring back that drier air and the evening of Saturday, Sunday and Monday looking very nice. So once again, it's not going to be a prolonged event, but it may be long enough that we also see some heavy downpours that could lead to some flooding. So here's what one of the models is saying with the placement and timing of the rainfall Saturday early morning, primarily across Mississippi. Notice very little of anything over southeast Louisiana. Now going through the rest of the morning and into the daylight hours, we see most of the storm stay over Mississippi with very little activity across southeast Louisiana. Here's another model again focus maybe in more southwest Mississippi as we get into Friday night and then into the overnight hours of early Saturday. Another cluster of storms moving across southwest Mississippi, but notice this model brings the storms across south Louisiana, whereas our high resolution model that was the her I was showing you just before doesn't really have much across southeast Louisiana. This model is the RPM. It has more development over our area. Right now what we're looking at is the main threat to our north where there is a three of five. Most of the region for us is under a two or a one, especially down to the south shore. So the greater risk once again looks to be more north shore and into Mississippi. But notice northern Tangible Hill Parish and Washington Parish for Saturday morning or Friday night into Saturday morning is under that level three of five. And then as we get into early Saturday with all of those storms finally starting to move away, our severe risk, not zero, but will be reduced. So we are are looking at the storms moving in late Friday night and into Saturday, probably not ending until more Saturday afternoon and evening, and then a nice second half of the weekend. Tonight, quiet, clear to partly cloudy skies with overnight lows into the 60s. Tomorrow during the day, still rather quiet, maybe some spotty showers and a high around 84 degrees. Late Friday, Saturday is when we're watching for the storms and a risk of maybe some severe. And then as we head into Sunday, little cooler, little less humid, not much. The front is fairly weak for that and temperatures will stay in the upper 70s, low 80s, but still nice on Monday. And then we return to more just daily pop up showers as we get toward the middle of next week. I have to say it's always good to listen to her, isn't it? The her. It her. is. <laughs> H R R R. Well, always listen to her. <laughs> All right, thanks, Chris. It's good advice.